Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Wolf video vlog. My name's Anthony, one of your baristas here at Wolf Coffee Roasters. And today I'd like to show you one method or our method of brewing a delicious tasting cup of coffee using the AeroPress. <laughs> for those who haven't used this before it's very very simple very durable and allows you the convenience of being able to brew a coffee anywhere in the world whether you're at home work traveling camping wherever you may be it is very versatile very durable and very very sturdy and because of this there are many different methods and brewing recipes out there available that you can actually use some are more intricate than others some are a bit more technical but we want to give you or show you one simple reproducible way for you to brew a delicious tasting cup of coffee anywhere you feel free. Today, we're going to be showcasing one of our Wolf Coffee Roasters, uh, latest release single origins, uh, the Costa Rican Finca Sabanilla, all right, produced by Oscar and Francesca Chacon in the Central Valley region of Costa Rica. This unique and delicious tasting cup of coffee uh, gives rise to a very, very appetizing, enticing flavors of juicy red sweet cherries, slight tart acidity, uh, some really sweet floral and vanilla-like notes as well, and finishing off with a you know, smooth, bittersweet, lingering uh, chocolate flavor at the end of the cup. Reminiscent to me of that of any decadent Black Forest cake dessert. Right, so today, uh, the method that I will be demonstrating to you guys is using the AeroPress in the inverted fashion. Okay, whereby the brewer is actually brewing the coffee upside down. Okay, so let's get started. So to start off with, we're gonna add in 20 grams of ground coffee straight into the AeroPress. Uh, coarse grind setting, uh, we're using our EK43 at a setting of nine for those who are playing that home. All right, cool. And we're just gonna pour it straight into the AeroPress. Shake it out just to settle it down and level the coffee. And today we're gonna to be using uh, brew water, 200 grams of brew water at 82 degrees Celsius. Something that's quite off the boil. Right, uh, firstly, we're gonna pre-wet our filter paper to rinse off any of that residual papery taste that it may provide, okay? And over about a period of 20 to 30 seconds, we're gonna pour in 200 grams of our brew water. Nice steady stream and let the volume and the pour of the water just gently agitate the coffee. All right. Perfect. Uh, using a spoon or a paddle or anything like that, just ensure that all your coffee grinds are saturated by the water, gently agitating it. From there, we're just gonna place our pre-wet filter paper into our cap, screw it on the lid, and then gently purge our any residual headspace air from the brew itself. Now, this method of brewing using the AeroPress is what we know as an infusion or immersion style brewer. So during the entire brewing process, okay, the coffee and the brewing water is in direct contact with each other consistently all the time, all right? From here, once that, we're gonna let this steep to about a minute 10, minute 15 mark, all right? Before we're gonna invert it on top of our jug and then slowly plunge for about anywhere between 20 to 30 seconds. Right, here we go. So, invert and then slowly plunge. Whilst we're plunging, the coffee and the water are actually still in contact with each other. So, during the plunge, the coffee is still brewing, okay? Now, like I previously mentioned, there are numerous different methods of being able to brew with an AeroPress. This is just one method that we like to use because it's very reproducible, very simple, and very, very easy to follow. Now, the overall brew time we're aiming for is somewhere between a minute 45 to a minute 55. And I'm gonna plunge all the way down so you hear that hissing sound. Perfect. Very simple to use, 
even easier to clean and maintain. All right, perfect. From here, just pour it into our glass. And you've got a delicious tasting cup of coffee ready for you guys to consume and enjoy at home. Right guys, that's enough for me this time. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, for any more YouTube tutorials, please feel free to click the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, for any advice on using large and coffees or brewing methods, please feel free to send us an email or come into our Big Bad Wolf Espresso Bar here at Hendra and ask one of any of your fellow baristas here for any advice. And um, until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Thank you for watching this week's Wolf College of Coffee vlog. If you'd like to watch another video, you can click one of them here. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you can always see the next video when it comes out next week. If you'd like to leave a comment or a like below, we'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, grab a cup of coffee and come back soon. I can wait.